Hi there. So this is my SCX80 vertical wideband antenna. Um, primarily used for FT8 right now, although I have used it for uh, voice, um, but at another location. It's been very good. Um, I've been decoded basically all over the world on uh, FT8, <coughs> which is what I use it for now. Uh, and if you look closely, you can see that it's a vertical consisting of six sections. So several weeks ago, I got a feeling, I sort of noticed, although it wasn't completely obvious, that my signal on 10 watts wasn't getting out as far as it had been previously. I mean, I, I, my, my signal is decoded in North America, for example, all the time where this was, and it felt like it hadn't been decoded sort of outside of Europe very much. Um, I didn't think anything more of it. Um, I kind of just carried on uh, and it still wasn't. Anyway, one day I was in the garden, I looked up and I thought, oh, hang on a minute, why can I only see four sections? And so I think what's happened is, although it obviously has a very small cross-sectional area, if the wind blows hard, it does sway around and each section is kind of clamped in place with the Jubilee clip. Um, I've sealed it with uh, self-amalgamating tape, but uh, effectively what had happened is that two sections had like basically collapsed in on itself. So I was left with a four section antenna rather than six. So it was basically a third shorter. Now, what was interesting is that, is that it's still tuned to 20, 40 meters, with no problem. Um, but basically I was operating a shorter antenna. So uh, I paid Oxford Aerials to come out again and they're standard 90 pound call out fee and they fixed it well they basically brought it down i repaired it and put it back up again however since putting it back up for some reason when i match it to my yesu ft991 previously uh, on 10 watts with it well matched the uh, on my MFJ 949 antenna tuner, the needle indicating the reflected power back would you it, it wouldn't move at all. Whereas, um, since it's been repaired and put back up, I can't match it better than the, uh, than that needle moving. Well, it basically the needle still moves even when I match it as well as I can. Now, it's still okay because it's still better than one, one to 1.1, but uh, something has obviously changed so. Uh, that's when I remembered that um, I have an antenna analyzer. Right, okay, and so here it is. So it's a Mitrovna uh, antenna analyzer with a touch screen, and um, I've adjusted the frequency to 14.04 uh, for FT8, uh, and I've got it connected to the antenna via my MFJ 949E. And if you, if I just adjust the MFJ, you can see that I've got this thing basically matched. Uh, you know, a perfect SWR 1.01, almost exactly. I mean, it's moving around a bit because it's sampling, but where are we? Sort of clicking over to 50 ohms. I mean, to me, that's basically perfectly tuned for 20 meters on FT8. In fact, if I go back here now, if you go to multi, there you go. So there's the bands. So 20 meters, 1.03, and then you can look at uh, the various other hammer bands, 40 meters, etc. Um, I'll do a separate video on how this thing works, but basically, I've adjusted it. almost perfectly via the antenna tuner. Now I've been doing some FT8 this morning or yeah, early afternoon, uh, as usual, 10 watts. I made um, two or three QSOs. Um, so and that was before I had tuned it with this, uh, with the Metrovna, or at least adjusted the MFJ via the Metrovna. So to get what is in theory, the perfect SWR. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna connect the antenna uh, via the MFJ back to my Yesu, which is there, 10 watts, uh, and see what we've got.
Okay, so the antenna's connected back up now via the MFJ, 14074, 10 watts. Um, there's the meter. so yeah, so the reflected power needle, um, before I had the antenna repaired, basically you could tune it such it didn't move, but, uh, but it does now. So uh, I'm going to, so let's start TXing again. So there you go, 10 watts, and you can see that there's a deflection, and that the, according to the needle, the reflected power, well, it indicates about, it's about one watt reflected, uh, one to one ratio. So when it uh, transmits again, I'll try adjusting it. All right, there you go. So. Now if I adjust it, I can improve it. So that's probably... So now it's basically adjusted as best as I can uh, using the uh, meter on the MFJ. And so if I was to plug that back into the Metrovna, it, I think it's going to... Uh, I tried this earlier and the Metrovna is reading sort of 1.13. Um, I think it's difficult to know whether the analog reading on the MFJ is more accurate than the Metrovna. The Metrovna, although it's very, very good, it was it was fairly inexpensive. So, and although obviously it's an electronic device, um, I, I've never calibrated it myself. So um, maybe I have to take that with a pinch of salt. But there's no doubt that it's easier to tune to match my antenna if I'm changing bands. Um, by plugging the antenna analyzer into it um, and then tuning it down very, very quickly um, and then plugging it back into the radio and then just uh, fine tuning it with the uh, MFJ. So there you go. In fact, while I've been talking to you, um, there you go, I've made another QSO without even trying. So there you go. So I'm being heard at least. Um, actually, if I go to, let me just go to here. So there's my signal from the last, I don't know, half an hour or more on 10 watts. So North America to Russia, north of Mongolia. There you go, that's the power of FT8 on 10 watts. So. So there you go, I just thought that'd be interesting. So yeah, it's interesting that now that I've had my antenna repaired, um, it, it, it seems to tune perfectly if you, if you use the um, analog meter on the MFJ uh, on the 17 meter band. You can tune it on 17 meters such that the reflective power needle literally doesn't move when you transmit. And yeah, I can't achieve that anymore on 20 or 40 meters. So uh, something electrically has changed. I mean, it's not an issue because right now, if you look, if you look at it, um, when I, Actually, if I start to, if I just transmit again, just to reinforce the point, um, you can see it's still very, very good. Just wait for it to do it one more time. So it's matched very well. And yeah, just moving slightly, but better than 1 to 1.1, good enough. Anyway, I just thought you'd find that interesting. Uh, okay, thanks for watching.